Hi everyone and welcome back to How Inez Rolls. After the long uh, weekend that we just had together as a family, which is awesome, I really need to get my menu going for the next week or so. And so I am heading into Winco. It's a great store and I can't wait to load up the cart. So come with me and let's see what I plan for the next few, well, or couple weeks of food. <laughs> Just walk right in and they're clearing out all of this awesome Valentine stuff. So I asked the boys what they want me to get and of course Isaiah said I needed to get the life-changing brownies. Duh. And um, the boys of course wanted candy. So I hope they love, you know, clearance out Valentine stuff. This place is awesome. And I wanted to tell you before I got started that if you liked my glasses, I do have an offer that's good to the end of the month. So I'll add it into the description box if you're interested, but I need to get going with my shopping. So yee, I'm excited, let's go. Minko has a great selection of produce. I feel better than Walmart. And I love this section over here. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a lot of go-to salad stuff. I love it. Can't forget about the preschoolers. They love the graham crackers. Here are the open bins. They are awesome. Anything you need. I do have a mission. I'm running low on cocoa to make my homemade brownies and anything else that needs cocoa so I can find them. I found it, so I don't need to have like a little, I, I actually need more than a little carton that they would sell at the store. So I have a bag that moves up. To me, they have the best meat selection here. So I love just getting as many different kinds of meats. And there's like four rows of just meat counters, plus all along this line. Just to stock them in the freezer. And then I like to make some different choices based on the meats that we have on what we're making for dinner. Another thing that they have here that I really love is that they have a large ethnic food aisle. Like this whole aisle is all ethnic foods. I love it. Isaiah's going to be disappointed. There were no brownies. I hope it's not life shattering for him. Mm. I am finally all done. Woo. Full cart and you'll get to see it very soon. On the way out, I saw these in that Valentine's clearance section and I had to buy them. This whole bag, that's $1.64. Mm, and they're so good. They may be mine. Don't judge me. <laughs> I sure do love going to Winco. I got so much stuff and I spent $260. So come see what I've got for $260. I'm gonna start with the freezer stuff first because I need to get that into the freezer. I totally ran out of counter space, so that's why it's on the on the, on the the stove. But I got bananas, some that they could eat now, and then hopefully in a few days, those will ripen up the more greener ones. We do love fruschetta or freschetta pizza. The boys just like to heat that up. Um, okay, so these are, the orange chicken and the teriyaki chicken. So if I go to Winco, I will get these ones. If I go to Trader Joe's, I will get the Trader Joe's brand and they taste nearly identical. The only difference being that this has maybe a couple more ounces or a few more ounces more per bag for the same price. We love it. And Winco has, like I said, a huge selection of meats. So I got a couple of ground beef. Um, I got some steaks because Paul, I love that he grills and he helps me. Now this is pork, it's carnita style, and this one isn't, it's unflavored. So these I kind of like to put them in the crock pot, shred them, um, usually for Sunday dinner. We'll even have potatoes or some kind of vegetable with it. So not too much uh, prep work is involved with that, but it's awesome. Um, we do like, I love the little bean and cheese burritos. They are easy for lunches when I'm working. And that right there, anybody else have those before? 
are so good. It's like a little guilty pleasure. So if I just need a little snack, I'll microwave two or three of those and that's usually plenty. I don't normally buy uh, waffles, but I do know that Ezra does like chocolate chip waffles. So I thought I'd get a small pack. They were really inexpensive, about $1.50. Um, these packs of salads are under uh, $3, maybe more like $2.50. I got the Southwest and the Caesar salad. Now, I got the, the Winco uh, bread dough or pizza dough ready to make. And these are inexpensive. They're like $1.50. So my thought process is, my husband's going out of town. So we are going to make a couple of pizzas, have some Caesar salad, and call that good for a couple of dinners or maybe lunches. Um, I like to just have garlic sticks in the back freezer just in case uh, we have something that needs it. Which, you know, if we have pasta. My oldest son loves these taquitos. It's a good after school lunch for him. I didn't show you this. This is, uh, it's flavored already, but it's garne, garne uh, taco meat. So it's ready to cook. It's already flavored. I love that. I got some different mozzarella cheeses and Parmesan for making some pasta for Ezra. You saw that um, in my Whole Foods um, mini haul. He loved that spaghetti. So I want to make sure I, I kind of strike while the iron's hot, so to say. So I'm gonna keep making him spaghetti and I'll add a little bit of that Parmesan cheese. I did not find the life-changing brownies, as I said earlier, so I just got some little Debbies. That way he can, we can just have a little bit of snacks. Do you remember eating these as a kid? Oh my, I remember the chocolate and the lemon were my favorites. Um, back here I have three bags of these chicken breasts. They're pretty thin, which I appreciate. So it's easier to cook or grill. And I they're about $6 each, a little under $6. So for three bags, it's nearly as much. Actually, it's less than going to uh, Costco. I have the croutons for a salad. And I have some snacks back here, mostly for preschoolers, but those wheat crackers, those wheat thins are for our family and the wafers. I have some um, deli meat here and some cheeses for sandwiches, for lunches, and more um, price economically uh, rice pudding. The cream cheese are gonna be for the Southwest egg rolls that I've made. I have, I'll have i link the video um, in the description box. Just some bacon, I have that so that my son can make some um, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits. I have those in my, um, with the turkeys. I made them into little turkeys. I'll link that video too. Some jello, some applesauce for Ezra, apples. Those are great in our salads, we love them. They have a great deli too, so I thought for tonight we could just eat some of these. The kids will like those. Also, um, some steak fries. Those are the egg roll wrappers that I like to use. They're, un they're two, under $2 each. The spaghetti for Ezra, Grandma Sycamore. We love Grandma Sycamore. And French bread is always good to keep in the freezer. I got some chips because um, you'll see we have, I bought more hot dog stuff. Sourdough bread. Okay, so if I don't buy sourdough bread at Costco, which I love it at Costco, my second favorite place is Winco. So I really do like it there. Um, some carrot chips, some tortilla chips so that we can make some um, nachos with those. I did get some broccoli, celery, cucumbers. There's the nacho cheese sauce just to replenish what we've used already. That'll great, be great for the pizzas. Just some chicken strips. Like I'm just trying to have some easy go-to dinners in the next couple weeks. Um, my kids really don't eat cereal, but they like to eat that as a snack. Okay, so I had to get the cocoa because I was running really low. Um, also, I, do, I did get some of these little spaghettis to see if Ezra would try those. Bell peppers and onions because I'll probably make some fajitas. I know Paul really likes to eat those. I just need to replenish my green chilies. Okay, so here's healthy butter. Everything else is so unhealthy what I bought, but... I wanted to try that. That seems to be something that everybody is raving about, so I wanna try it. 
I have some chocolate chips down there, Nathan's, love Nathan's, some hot dog buns, enchiladas, so I can make some soup or actually a casserole. This is like um, Winco's version of Crystal Light. We love it. Those are those strawberry cheesecake taffies. Oh man. Here's some of those biscuits to make those biscuits. We, I don't get these very often, the ices, but um, they are really yummy. And in fact, this one's my favorite. Uh, they are zero calorie, so it's not like a, it's kind of like a diet soda. I got some milk and I know I've been getting um, chocolate almond milk for Ezra, but this was cheaper this time around, so lucky him. And then here's all that candy that I got that was clearanced out. They're like a dollar to two dollars. I love it. Plus a little bit of oil and then a 10 pound bag of potatoes. So I'll be using that as well. Thanks for visiting my channel and following me to Winco and seeing what I got worth $260. Now I have four growing boys and I know that this is quite up their alley with easy go-to dinners and meals and with a working mama like myself. It's easy to just get those going. So a lot of times I will be making those into healthier meals by adding more vegetables to like stir fries or adding um, instead of just uh, onto nachos, maybe onto potatoes. And so that's how I try to get it to be a little bit healthier. You know what I'm talking about, moms. So I'm so glad you came to be a part of this, my haul today and stick around. You never know what I'll be rolling out next.